Let's take a look at zooming on the HP Prime graphing calculator. Now, the first one we'll be taking a look at is y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now I want to go to the symbol. You can uh, go into function there, press enter on that. And that'll get you here, or you could press symbol. And uh, I want x squared, so I'm going to do max key, and then my x squared minus 5x plus 6. And then I'll press enter to save that. And that puts it up here. Now I want to do uh, plot to graph it. And that would be our, our graph. Now it looks like it's coming down a little bit below your x-axis, but we really can't see very well, can we? Well, if I um, do my right arrow key, moving my cursor down there about to the bottom, about right here. You can also click different places um, on this. I'm not sure if uh, this interface is a touch screen or uh, uh, this is a mouse type uh, setup. Either way, you want to get it down there. Now, see the menu here. If we click that, then we can choose zoom. And there's a zoom in. Uh, so then if I press enter on that, it'll zoom in based upon where our cursor was. That's why it's important to have your cursor down in the appropriate place. If I have my cursor, well, let me click up here, save some time. If I have my cursor up here, then I do zoom, and I choose zoom in. This one here, and press enter. See, it zooms in with what I had uh, selected, which may, may not be what you want. So make sure you move your cursor before you do the zoom in. Now, if I choose zoom... And uh, probably up arrow is the fastest way to get to it. But we're going to choose decimal. And then press enter. That sets back to our standard view. Okay, that's zoom in. Let's look at the zoom box. Ch choose zoom. Down arrow to box. And press enter. And it says select a corner. So I'm going to move my cursor, boy that went kind of fast, and let me put it about right here. This is going to be the upper left hand corner of our box. Now you can uh, click this OK or you can press enter to select that corner and then it says select the opposite corner. So if I do a down arrow and then I right arrow over, you'll see it draw in a box. Now once I get to the point where I have the box around exactly what I want to zoom, then I can press enter or I can click the OK. I'll go ahead and press enter. And it zooms in specifically on what I put the box around. This is a fantastic, uh, fantastic tool. Now that, that seemed kind of cumbersome, you know, clicking here and then doing that. But if you have a capability of clicking the screen in some manner or using this as a mouse, then if you choose zoom and you choose the box, when it says select a corner, you can come up here, click, and then press enter. Select the opposite corner, you can come down here and click, and then press enter. So it's super fast to do it if you if you have access to, to clicking on the screen in some manner. Now again, to set it back to the, the default, you do zoom, you can do out your up arrow, and we want to choose decimal took me a while to find that. I finally had to Google it and read about it because um, I kept looking for a Zoom default or, or Zoom standard like Texas Instruments, but I couldn't find it. Okay, if I come over here, let's take a look at y is equal to x squared minus 400 now. So I'm going to go back to my symbol. And I got x squared, so x key, x squared, minus 400. And I'll press enter. And now if I choose plot, I don't see it anywhere on there. That could mean you need to zoom out, which is the next one we'll look at. So if I choose menu and choose zoom, we want to um, choose zoom out. Now, I should have probably looked to see where my cursor was, but I assume it was in the center. Let me do out. And there we see our, our graph. Now, all of a sudden our um, x-axis disappeared. Probably I wasn't exactly in the middle when I did zoom out. You can do a zoom and then uh, up arrow and choose undo zoom. You can see back there. 
So where is my cursor? Uh, oh, it's down there, I think. So let me click here in the center. Yeah. Well, let me go up. That's interesting. I know it's an arrow pointing down, meaning there's more down there, but I wanted to zoom off the center, but I guess it's not going to let me. Thinks it knows better than me. Okay. Okay, so I'll zoom out. And we see that. Now, after you do that, then you can choose your um, uh, your zoom here and change it to a different one. Like I choose zoom box. And if I click up here, I select a corner and press enter. And if I choose corner down here and press enter, then I'll zoom in on just that. Okay, uh, zoom box I really like. Zoom out, zoom in. Uh, sometimes they work well for you, sometimes not. As you can see, if I last one, that wasn't that great. Now let me do zoom, do an up arrow, and go to decimal, and press enter. And that sets it back to our standard. Now we don't see anything anyway, so uh, no big deal. But we know um, where it's at. It's kind of down there. Well, notice all these have setups to them. So if I do shift, plot, it'll go to my setup. And see my X range says negative 15.9. Let's change that to a negative 40. Enter, and I'm going to change this uh, upper to a positive 40. Enter. The Y range, I'm going to change this to a negative uh, 500. Enter, and the, this I'll change to a positive 100. Enter. Now these tick marks, uh, this was a bug with the uh, another HP graphing calculator I looked at, um, but we'll see if it is fixed in this one. Uh, this tick mark for the X axis, I'm going to make that as 10. And from a Y's, I'll make that 100. Okay, let's think what I'm doing now. X range is going from negative 40 to 40, and it's going by 10s. And then Y range is going from negative 500 to 100, and it's going by 100s. Well, let's plot now. And we see we see our graph pretty good now. Uh, the X axis. Clear over here is negative 40. Clear over here is positive 40. So, and it's going by 10. So this is negative 40, negative 30. Negative 20, negative 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now my bottom tick mark is negative 500, top one is 100. So that's going negative 500, negative 400, negative 300, negative 200, negative 100, 0, 100. Now how did I notice set those values? Well, I knew the um, from playing with this graph um, uh, and the other graphing calculators, I knew the x-intercepts were negative 20 and 20. And the uh, minus 400, when you got a number at the end, that shifts it up or down. And since it's a negative 400, that means it shifts it down 400 units. So I knew it was way down there. Okay, let's see if they got this fixed now. And if I press my um, menu, choose Zoom, I'm going to change it back to Z decimal. I don't got it fixed. Um, that's okay. Uh, if I go back to my setup, if I do Shift, Plot, Notice it sets these back to what they were, but then the X tick is still 10 and the Y tick is still 100. So I'll set those back to 1. To me, that's a flaw. That should have fixed that. When you do a zoom decimal and set it back, it should have set everything back. But now if I do a plot, you see it's, our tick marks are back to what they were. And um, that's uh, zooming on the HP Prime graphing calculator.